Hey all, here OS Reviews. About a year ago, we checked out a smart pen from Neo Lab called the M1 Plus, and I liked it quite a lot. This pen allows you to not only write things down on paper, but it saves a digital copy using Bluetooth and sends it over to your phone or even to your computer, backs it up to the cloud for you to search up more easily in the future. And the company is now back with a new model that is a collaboration between them and also Lamy. It's a company based in Germany, and some of their designs have been around for a very long time, such as this. Safari fountain pen uh, being launched in 1980 that, believe it or not, is still in production today. And that's how popular it was and how forward-thinking the design was. It still looks very modern in 2021 standards. And so this collaboration has essentially a lot of the design characteristics of these famous fountain pens uh, through this collaboration. But we have, of course, the smart features that uh, the Neo Lab team has incorporated. And otherwise, again, it's designed by Lamy in Germany, but made in Korea. In order to make this process possible, it does rely on a proprietary type of paper that has these micro dots embedded on it. So we have a journal here that's included. We can observe all of these little micro dots and using a camera built onto the tip of the pen, that's how it's able to know what you're writing on and then save that as a copy over. Replacement journals can be found at a price that is very comparable to regular notebooks, but you just have to pick it up from the company's website. And then underneath there's also kind of a getting started guide that will tell you how to install the companion app and connect it using Bluetooth. And there's also a region here on this that you can start to test out if the pen is connected and writing correctly. Down below here, we also have a charging cable for the pen, which it looks like it's still using micro USB, which is the same connector that they use on their M1 Plus from before. So if there's one thing I do wish maybe they can upgrade to USB type C in the near future. So here's the smart pen itself. It's constructed out of a coarse polycarbonate plastic, but overall still feels quite sturdy. And the resemblance to the aforementioned Lamy Safari fountain pen is very similar. They do have the same kind of classic clip that's made out of metal as part of the design also prevents it from rolling over. Although this time we do have a power key on the other side as well that you can press on for a few seconds to turn the pen on. And we can see that there is also a multicolored LED light that will tell you the status when it's being connected. And on the top here we have just the aforementioned micro USB port for charging. And then when we unhook the pen, we do also get a very familiar design. So when you're holding it, it does indeed feel really comfortable as you're writing, even for prolonged periods of usage. So great ergonomics. And in terms of the tip, we have just the ink nub. And this, of course, can be untwisted when you want to replace it in the future. Although, as we see here in the box, you only get one of the ink tips included by default, but they are pretty standard and easy to replace. And then, of course, we have just the sensor there for the camera that's also trying to pick up whatever you're writing. So you do have to kind of write in this particular orientation. Um, if you're flipping it the other way around, it might be a little harder to pick up. So as long as you're using it correctly, everything will be detected. Now, because they've gone with this classic design, I will say that the overall dimensions of this particular smart pin is a little bit larger and thicker than the M1 Plus. So not too far off, but it is going to be ever so slightly thicker. So it really just comes down to a matter of aesthetics and preference in terms of design. So turning on the Neo Labs app, it's almost instantly recognized our Lamy Safari pen nearby, which we can tap on to connect. And it'll just take a few seconds, the light there will then turn green. You can either just begin writing on the special notebook or the paper, and it will kind of be automatically recognized. In our case, it sees that we're writing on our user manual and it's popped up the same version of the paper that we have in front of us. We are, and you can see that it will start to populate over here on our app in real time, relatively fast, and the overall process uh, works quite well. And just like the smart pens that we've seen from this company in the past, the accuracy in terms of matching what you have displayed here on the paper is actually quite close, and it does recognize between pressing harder and lighter, as you can see there, which is impressive. So in fact, if we try this again, I'm going to try and press very lightly here at first, but then just start to get harder and harder as I'm going to draw a thicker line. We can see that the level of pressure sensitivity has been captured more or less when we started off lighter and then got heavier towards the end. It's not going to be quite the same level of granularity as on a Wacom stylus, like on a Galaxy S Pen, which can recognize thousands of levels. This one here should only be around a hundred or so levels, but it still is able to do this and help you in terms of when you are looking at the transcription, making it look very realistic. And I can also write something super tiny, so let's actually try writing something in a tiny font. Still see that the camera is uh, good enough to recognize and pick up those details uh, magnified on the page. Of course, the ink that you're actually writing on the paper will be dependent on what cartridge you have installed in the 
nib of the pen, which is going to be black by default. But if you wanted to save the digital version in a different color, you can also tap on these filters. So it's going to save the handwriting as green now uh, or red. Hello world. And you can see that the transcription has been saved in the red font. The top section also brings up additional commands like a highlighter that you can use your finger to kind of virtually doodle on the page. And of course, this part won't be replicated on the actual piece of paper, but you can make these, save it, and then it will be on your, let's say, Google Drive. You can even move the text that you've written around. So tapping on this button here, I can, let's say, highlight the hello world part and just float it into some other portion on the page. Tapping on the three dots here also allows us to begin a voice recording, which it will use the microphone on your phone to pick up pick up your voice so you can be talking or if you're in a lecture or in a meeting, it will recognize that and align it with whatever thing that you're writing down on the paper so you can also play it back later on. There's also things like a transcription function. So this will automatically convert your handwriting into uh, English in this case. So it's saying, hello world, we are analog, those initial words that we kind of scribbled out down below. And we can also take a look at the function here to handwriting replay. This will actually play back in real time as you are uh, making those edits and writing down on the document that we see there. You can speed it up, save it, and kind of review the order in which the notes were taken. Now back onto this main home page again, uh, we can see that this first piece of paper has now been populated. So as you start creating more notes as well as journals, they will all be visible in this carousel view um, or really in this library view on the home screen. Storage space remaining on the built-in memory. So if you want to, you can also just write without pairing it to the app, just using it like a regular pen on a journal. Just turn on the pen and start writing and then after about let's say 50 pages of notes you'll want to then come over and sync things over afterwards. Uh, there's also the ability here to take a look at searching. So again by a, a keyword or a hashtag. Third tab we can take a look at the transcription language converting your handwriting into text. Right now we have it set as English but it also supports Chinese um, as well as uh, Spanish, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, you know, the list here just goes on and on that you can also try out. The accuracy there is fair as long as you have okay handwriting. Uh, if you're writing things too sloppily, it may struggle a little bit with the ML, but overall detection is decent. And we can also take a look at some email sharing and calendar syncing options. It's compatible with all of their previous pens and they're continuing to update it with more features and refining it. Now with the journal that they included in the box, it comes with 192 pages, even a holder for the pen that you can use to slide it in to prevent it from getting lost, which is pretty neat. And on the first page over, we also see a kind of bookmark, which you can use to stick on and also control just by tapping um, on the different dots here with your pen and that will automatically change the color of the digital notes to one of the different colors if you don't want to keep it as black and there's also a bookmark and share icon on the top that you can set up and if you tap on these it will kind of save that page as a favorite one more thing to note is the first two pages on the journal are technically dedicated to a table of contents section. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the Lamy Neo Labs Safari Edition Smart Pen. Again, it works in exactly the same way as the M1 Plus and other smart pens from Neo Lab that we've seen previously, just this time really in a slightly more ergonomic and classic shape due to that collaboration from the hardware perspective. So if you like the way it looks, this remains a really strong smart pen for capturing and digitizing notes, converting it into text. Text, uh, and just offers really robust note-taking tool if you're someone that still likes using that traditional pen and paper approach. You can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below. For now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.